I'm eight years old. I do yoga because when I do yoga, I feel like I'm a whole new person. For everyone who's doing that, obvious harmony. It connects us to the cosmic flow of the universe. I think we're living in a really powerful time, and that's the brilliance of yoga. All of us, together, trying to do the best we can, trying to change, trying to enhance, empower, enliven, embody, awaken, and mainly just be happy. Some people see things as they are and say, why? I dream things that never were and say, why not? I can do yoga uh, in a police car. <laughs> Uh, rushing to the scene of a crime, which may be the best place to do it, and start doing the mental aspect, the breathing, the relaxation. I won't be a police officer forever, but I will do yoga forever. It's about self-education. It's about learning about your own body, mind, and self so that you can be responsible for your own health and the quality of your life and relationships for the rest of your life. Let your leg come out to this side. That's it, catch the wind, sweetie. It's my dream that we take politicians and doctors and um, scientists and invite them to practice yoga and then invite them to look through their old lens at their life and their studies and their beliefs. Every place I go, China opening up, India rediscovering it, is because it's the time. It's the time to bring the peace and bring the balance because yoga, breath, meditation will reopen the damaged closed hearts. In taking care of this ecology here, you take care of the larger ecology of which you are a part. The Native American saying that when one makes a decision, an important decision, we should contemplate its effects on the next seven generations. In that tradition, there's a deep knowledge of the interconnectedness of life. I used to have a seriously bad anger problem. Like, I'd say I caused just so much violence and damage in my life my whole life. During this, this whole struggle is, you have a problem? Nothing to fight, that's how I resolved it. I was skin high all the time. I was too messed up, too done to nothing, so I just ran away. When I first walked into Andre's classroom to teach, I asked people about injuries, and one, one kid raised his hand and he said, what do you do for a bullet wound? I mean, you go back to girl. Not everybody's a gangster. It's more of a temptation. It's a temptation to gang bang. It's a temptation to want to do drugs. And one day, it changed my life completely. We all know that money doesn't make you happy. There's more to life. And we've exhausted our resources. And we've come back to the simplicity of something ancient. And it's yoga. Because you meet a yogi, and you just want to do what they do. So I find myself in India, and there's no way I can relate. I can't come back to Hollywood and say, well, you see, I had this experience. I got blasted, and there was this explosion at the base of my spine. The next thing I knew, the whole world was made of love. And the light souls will come, and they will look at the generations before. They'll look at war and say, what is this thing? This, it's, it's called a gun. People used a gun. Why would they do that? Okay, taking you into the palace, daddy-o. I went to Iraq for the troops. I could care less about the war. You know, it's, it, it is what it is, you know, what's happening there. I want to leave them with something, something that I, you know, have grown to love, which is yoga. I literally teach people that anything's possible. YRG is aggressive yoga. It's marine type yoga. If I could go to Iraq, I would go. It's breath. Breath has nothing to do with war. Help people to breathe, hearts melt, they don't want to pick up a gun anymore. The yogis shall march forth, and we shall heal the world. On your next inhalation, bend that left knee and sweep up into road warrior number one. Oh, what a rush. There's no way uh, yoga is supposed to be like that. I don't even think this is real yoga. He's not 50 years old, no matter. Don't listen to him, he's lying to you guys. Uh, but he damn sure smoked me. I thought yoga was totally different. Yoga is the way to bring peace to the world. I'm so convinced. What are you going to divide? War here, yoga here? That's, it's, we are all one. Kick out, you're a dead man. As you drop into your breath, as you drop into your being right now, also feel this tribe around you. We've all come here together today as a collective to learn to love better, to be loved, to receive love, to play, 
to discover joyfulness over and over again. I look at myself as a peaceful warrior. I mean, if I am attacked, I can use self-defense tactics to defend myself, but really using the least amount of force necessary. Since the insanity on that day of 9-11, yoga has taught me peace of mind, body, and spirit, inspiring the desire to have a more positive impact on the world. Yoga is really about healing. You know, and if you look around the planet right now, I mean, what's it time for? Another silly workout? Or is it time to heal? There's so many kind of yoga and in yoga teachers and programs that can make so many kind of yoga teachers that or yoga program that makes you really happy 